Shalom, it's Tehillah from the Kifar, and this is a quick video just to share with you a time-saving tip that I learned and that I use all the time now when it comes to uploading videos to my LMS platform. So I use Canvas, but you can use this for Schoology, whatever LMS platform that you are using. So a lot of you are recording videos, sometimes several videos a week that you are uploading for your classes. And for many of you, you're uploading them to YouTube, and then you're also sharing them in your classroom. So what I do, is I actually upload my videos into a playlist on YouTube. It's a private playlist so that only my students can access the videos. And then instead of manually sharing each video into Canvas, which is what I use, I just create a module that's just for class recordings. And then I embed the playlist code into a page that I open up in the module. And then every time I upload a video and add it to the playlist on YouTube, it's automatically updated on Canvas. So I no longer have to upload the video on YouTube and then copy the link into Canvas or whatever LMS you're using. All you need to do is just upload the video and it automatically updates. And I'll show you really quickly um, where you would find that code. So here is a playlist for one of my classes. And the thing that you wanna do when you create the playlist is you just click on playlist settings. So these three dots here, click on playlist settings, you want to allow embedding so that you can embed the playlist into your LMS, your learning management system. And you want to add new videos to top of playlist, okay? You might wanna undo this, but I like to add the new video so that when students open it up, they automatically see the latest video there, okay? Then when you're done, you just hit done. And then you hit this arrow, the share button, and you will get the embed code. And so you will copy and paste this into the module. You can open up a page or put it in as an assignment in your LMS platform, copy the code there, and that's it. Once the code is there, you don't need to go from one to another to make sure that the students can see the video. All you need to do is upload the video to YouTube, add it to the playlist, and it will automatically update. Okay, so that will save you a little bit of time. And we know as teachers, we love things that save us time. So I hope that helps. Um, if you want to hear more tips specifically for teaching language online, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Connect with me on social media. My information is below and I'll see you for the next video. Later out.